Hey YouTube, uh, I'm starting to read through the book of Leviticus and um, while well, there's some other interesting stuff in these opening chapters, um, I wanted to specifically look at chapter 14 um, verses 33 through 47. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, When you come into the land of Canaan, which I give you for a possession, and I put a leprous disease in a house in the land of your possession, the owner of the house shall come and tell the priest, saying, There seems to me to be some sort of disease in my house. The priest shall command that they empty the house before the priest goes to examine the disease, or all that is in the house will become unclean. And afterwards the priest shall go in to inspect the house. He shall examine the disease. If the disease is in the walls of the house with greenish or reddish spots, and if it appears to be deeper than the surface, the priest shall go outside to the door of the house and shut up the house for seven days. The priest shall come again on the seventh day and make an inspection. If the disease has spread in the walls of the house, the priest shall command that the stones in which the disease appears be taken out and thrown into an unclean place outside the city. He shall have the inside of the house scraped thoroughly, and the plaster that is scraped off shall be dumped in an unclean place outside the city. They shall take other stones and put them in the place of those stones, and take other plaster and plaster the house. If the disease breaks out again in the house, after he has taken out the stones and scraped the house and plastered it, the priest shall go and make inspection. If the disease has spread in the house, it is a spreading leprous disease in the house. It is unclean. He shall have the house torn down, its stones and timber and all the plaster of the house, and taken outside the city to an unclean place. All who enter the house while it is shut up shall be unclean until the evening, and all who sleep in the house shall wash their clothes, and all who eat in the house shall wash their clothes." Um, the first thing that uh, stuck out to me about this passage was um, in verse 34, uh, where the Lord talks about putting a leprous disease in the houses. The Lord's doing that, not somebody else. But the other thing that uh, struck out to me immediately was in verse 37. Now, where it's talking about uh, the disease being in the walls, uh, specifically greenish or reddish spots. That sounds awfully like mold. And in fact, you know, I've looked up. Uh, some information uh, regarding this passage and how other people have interpreted it and that's the most popular interpretation you know that is talking about mold and um, often specifically you know black mold you know which is a lethal form of mold and uh, can be harmful to humans and um, on immediate observation you know the recommendation um, for people to evacuate the house is probably a good idea. But the problem that I see is that um, the house is shut up for seven days and then the priest comes again after seven days uh, to see whether the mold has spread or not. Um, shutting up the house would do absolutely nothing to prevent the mold from spreading. Now, particularly because you know, mold uh, is a result of you know, a moisture problem. And uh, you know, shutting up a room which contains moist air and uh, not cleaning up the mold, which uh, the Levitical passage doesn't say to do at that time, uh, could actually make the mold problem worse. Why would God be commanding them to uh, shut up the house for seven days and leave it alone? You know, if he knows that uh, what they need to do from the beginning is to clean out the mold by taking out the stones as is uh, later prescribed in the passage. You know, um, is God wanting them to, to pray to have the leprous disease that he put into the house uh, for
for him to hear that seems a little strange because you know later in the passage it talks about you know taking the stones out maybe because they knew that um, shutting up the house for seven days wouldn't take care of the mold problem anyway interesting commands from the Lord here 